All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. My cat is in here with the dog. You might get some sound effects in this episode. Um, we got a special episode today, guys. Not really special, but what happened was my audio file when I recorded this game, uh, it it fell to save. It became corrupted, and I deleted the what was on my uh, laptop. And the there, I've, it's a whole, whole long story, but basically, <laughs> basically, I am doing. A voiceover for this game so maybe you guys will see a little more commentary and you can see we're playing preview and him they got a freshman quarterback that's pretty good he had some good speed um, you know guys I'm actually pretty far ahead in this dynasty now um, I've actually finished season two uh, I just honestly I've just recorded the games when I could uh, they got some talent now I mean they got 80 80 overall 76 overall I wonder if those were Juco recruits they had to be uh, they got a problem at tackle though. Look at those injuries. But uh, yeah, guys. So this is going to be a bit of a different. You may, you may get a different feel for in the game. Um, I mean, they they actually have some talent. I mean, this team's not bad. Uh, you guys, Preview A and M is the worst roster in the game. Uh, and uh, upon release, uh, strong safeties are not good. So if they run that three three five, we should be good. But I mean, they've got some talent though. They got some impressive freshman class. Um, well, let me check. So, yeah, we don't have anybody suspended, which is good. Been pretty good this year. Uh, this is at home. It's our final conference game. We're 9-0 and going into this one. And I'm not going to give any spoilers for the season, guys. I've, I've gone through the rest of the regular season. So I'm a little far ahead, but I'm catching up. And, you know, it's actually not really the hard part, but the, the, the part, obviously, the – part that's most fun is playing the games so uh the part that takes a lot of tedious work is actually going in and uploading them to youtube uh let me check i wanted to go over in season recruiting so i actually like i literally don't remember doing this so <laughs> bear with me i know we got one we have one guy visiting so we'll see if we can grab that defensive tackle and i'm not going to give any spoilers guys it's I'm, you're going to be seeing this for the first time just i'm going to pretend i am as well uh, but you're gonna you're gonna see how like we're gonna do some commentary. Um, since this isn't live, I'm not you know doing the voice. I'm doing basically a voiceover of the video. Uh, but I haven't. I, I didn't rewatch this or anything, so I'm kind of going into this. I remember what happened. Uh, we have a rainy game today, guys. So we're gonna have to watch for fumbles. Make sure we hold onto the ball. Yeah, look at that. It's pouring, man. A night game, pouring rain. At least it's so warm, 68 degrees. It's probably pretty cold, though. I bet that's some cold rain. I'm not originally from Charleston. People down here, man, it gets in the 50s, and they're bundling up in some jackets. <laughs> I mean, I grew up in western Kentucky, um, right on the Ohio River. and I mean, but it was in the, you know, it gets below... It gets below 10 degrees for about a week out of the year. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty cold in the winter. McIntyre, what a season, man. This guy... This guy has just carried us in offense. He's been so good. We have some more talent. I'm pretty excited about our boy Marcelo Washington. Maybe he's going to earn that nickname of Mello. <laughs> kind of like... Uh, I mean, it's kind of like Carmelo Anthony or Lamelo. Uh, What's his name? The younger uh, Lamelo Ball, Carmelo Washington. No, excuse me, Marcelo. I got. I'm getting confused already. All right, so I don't know what I was doing there. We're checking it. We're we're pretty healthy, guys. We've been fortunate that we've been healthy this whole year. But we deferred on the kick. We got wind at our back. They did take the wind direction, so hopefully it won't come down to field goals. Man, we've been still pretty inconsistent on kickoff returns. Like, they they got it out to the 30 almost. So, we played Prairie View ADM last year, guys. It was our first game of the Dynasty. If you go back and watch that one, I mean, it's there's so much more talent on the field right now. I remember that running back, 25. It was a close game. I mean, we didn't play all that well. We were still learning. Oh, lobbed it up. Oh, he caught that? Really? Wow. 
So yeah guys, no spoilers on this one. I've already played this game. I'm just going to repeat myself in case you've skipped through a little bit of the intro. This is a voiceover. My audio uh, got corrupted. I, I tried to save it and it just, like froze up my laptop. And then I... There's actually a way you can go in and edit. Like It's it's a whole big fiasco. <laughs> I, I've recovered a file before, but this one was gone. So We're in the zone there. We almost got a pick by Edwards. That was a good play. So yeah, we're we're pretty much doing some commentary. So you know, lay back and uh, we're gonna sit back and enjoy this one. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they're already inside the 50. Second and 10 now. We're calling the monster three. I'm gonna spy with Edwards. Oh look at this! That quarterback's got speed. Yeah. For some reason they ran that to the boundary. Oh no! Oh no no no! Edwards is hurt. Oh man. Hope he's not. He's gonna have to go into the uh, concussion protocol if he. If that's uh, symptoms of a concussion, so we'll have to watch that. So Edwards, I've I've usered him the whole season. He's been my guy. I guess I'll take Gilmore. Um, we're gonna man up. Oh, there we are. Nice. I don't know if that was Gilmore or uh, Travis Payne that got that deflection. I couldn't see, but. All right. Well, we got a good stop. They picked up that first pass play. Uh, this is most likely a fair catch here. There's no chance I'm returning this. Yeah. All right, so we got to stop on defense. They got some talent, guys. I, I looking over their roster again, and I kind of realize they they have some pretty good talent on defense. They're not their defensive line's not good, but their linebackers, like those two outside linebackers, are pretty solid. Uh, secondary is not bad. Free safety in the corner are pretty good. Strong safeties are not good. And you can see we're going to try to get Marcelo going. That was a good run there. 78 yards. Second and three now. So, guys, I, I don't remember at all. <laughs> like, we call – we I mean, I, I make I, – I, I called some different plays on offense. I don't call, like, the same four plays. I mean, it's it could be it's easy to do that, but I mix it up a little bit. Like this is a uh, this is gonna be up the middle here with McIntyre. Flip it left though. Oh, nowhere to go. They got some pressure. So third and four now. This is a big third down for us because we have a sliver. Oh, Edwards is out for the game. Oh no. So we're not going to be able to use your Edwards for the game. We're going to have to, I guess we'll just take Gilmore. Oh, and that's a fumble. Townsend already with the fumble. That was not, I mean, they had pressure all around. That play was not going to work. So we're lucky we got on that football. They would have had it inside. They would have had it first in, uh, in the red zone, first and 10. So this is this huge for field position. We can try to flip the field here. Thomas awaits the snap. Look at our impact punter in the zone. I really thought they would get. I really thought they would switch that to like Thomas Robinson on defense, but that's okay. We'll we'll live with it. Thomas punts it, and he really got All right, come on, let's go. Casey Jackson coming in. He breaks away, but Robinson gets the tackle there. Thomas Robinson on special teams for some reason. I mean, I guess we need him. I don't like running my best players on special teams, but we we just don't have the depth. So Ryan Gilmore, our backup free safety, is going to slide in to the strong safety on your left side of the field here. Uh, look at this running back, man. I remember that running back had a lot of yards that first game of the Dynasty in last season. And he's not that great. I mean, I mean, I guess he's, he's solid, but I mean, his overall is not that high and he's not that fast. So that's why I'm playing some man defense. I feel like we can match up with these guys. You can see we were clearly in man. We're lined up over the running back and the fullback. But they're going to run it right up the middle there just to the left side. Four wide now. Um, I, I have had a lot of fun playing more aggressive defense. And it's not like that aggressive. I mean, we're still only blitzing. We're blitzing four and spying the middle linebacker just like that. That's why we do that because he... For some reason, not for some reason, our middle linebacker Atkins there, number 31, he's 
his awareness is, I don't know what his rating is, but he's got good awareness because that's a lot of times where I've seen him. We've used him as a spy, but then he reads the play and just, you know, basically is a free rusher to the running back. So third and five here. This is big. Oh, and the quarterback's keeping it. Oh, man, that's going to be fourth and one. Are they going to go for this here? They're lining up in a punt formation. On the 31, they're, I don't know. I feel like this is a fake. This has got to be a fake. This is, I'm going to send Reed back just in case, but, I mean, we're going to man up. I don't know. Fourth and one on the 31. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. We, no, oh, we missed the tackle. Well, if they if they called a pass, I think we would have defended it. But they they I I should have. Ah oh, man, you know I don't do enough fake punts. I don't know. I guess that run is designed to go out to the right, so I probably should have like moved the linebackers over. Okay, we're there on that one. There's Gilmore coming down for the tackle. Two yard loss. You know, if I if I knew my audio file would have gotten corrupt, I would have turned uh, Brad and Kirk off and just <laughs> I could have just called the end myself. <laughs> I'm probably not that good at that calling games though. I've never done it before. I mean, this is so different. Like I literally, I I've, and I played this guys. It's been like six days since I played this game. Oh, I was there. So Gilmore, I was there with Gilmore, but we I, I kind of moved out of the way. I thought he was gonna turn back up field. That was. I don't even know what that route was. I guess it was kind of like an angle, like a well, not an angle. It was like a, just a straight. I don't know. It was a weird type of post route, maybe. I don't even know. All right. Well, for their first and goal here, we. Uh, I don't really know what they're gonna do. Okay. Oh, fumble! No, oh, man, that was huge. Who was that? Was that Robinson that got that hit? Man. Was that a quarterback sneak on the three-yard line? I don't know what kind of play that was. That had to have been a quarterback sneak. They were in a goal line formation. Like, there's no triple option at a goal line. Let's see what they do here. That's play action. Where are we? Somebody get there. Oh, look at the fullback making some moves. Man, he put, he put somebody on the ground. I don't know who that was. I think that was our corner, Casey Jackson over there. That's okay. That's all right. Oh, look at this. Block kick. That's Atkins. I blocked, He blocked that one straight up. He just came in. Look at this. Wow. What a play. I wish we could have picked that up, though. We could have ran that back and got two points. Look at it. We took out the momentum, guys. Did you see that? They did have full momentum, and now it's down. I think it was plus three. So, what is this? That was the shortest kickoff I've ever seen in my life, and we got destroyed. Goodness. Okay. Was that even like? What were they trying to do there? Is that as far as their kicker can kick the football? Like. <laughs> All right. Well, we got at the 31. They're in dime. They're fanning their defensive line out, so we may try to go up the middle here if we can. Uh, you know, right, we'll just go to the edge. We have space there. We'll keep it with Townsend and get big hit by their corner. That's fair. I like the formation they're in, so you're gonna see me do. You're, you guys are gonna see me do this when they come out and dime. We're gonna no huddle. Oh, we that actually didn't work though. They had probably a corner playing linebacker, so. It didn't work that time, but when they come out in a dime formation, you guys are going to see me run no huddle quite a bit. Because what, what happens is they audible from their dime to 3-3-5. But they, uh, that was a good play there by their corner, though. Or at least I think that was their corner. All right, we're going to swing it out, McIntyre. No, nowhere to go there. So their defense is showing up so far. I mean, we haven't gotten... I mean, we, we've only run a few plays, though. Look at this, guys. We are 55% and first in the nation on third down. Yeah, this is a big one here. We got nine yards. Well, I may look for Haston, see if Townsend can make this little 10-yard pass. 
Uh, it's there. Oh, no. See, that's... I can't throw it. I mean... That ball was about 10 yards in front of uh, in front of Haston, and <laughs> Haston had a position. He had inside position to make that catch, but he can't. Uh, unfortunately, his arms are not 20 yards long. So, all right, solid punt there. Keep it out of bounds. Wouldn't it be something? Wouldn't it be something if we go undefeated in the conference and then lose the final game against Prairie View and m Wouldn't that be something, guys? I tell you, we're undefeated, but we're not out of it. I mean, uh-oh, if they keep fumbling. Oh, my goodness. How many fumbles have they had? I guess that's only two. We had one. That's right. So, I mean, it's it's. look at the rain, though. I mean, I can't be upset with any fumbles in this game. Like, it's it keeps it interesting. I'll say that. So we're manning up again. What is this? Oh, Thomas Robinson all over that one. Four tackles already for Thomas Robinson. Goodness. All right. I feel like I'm talking a lot. Third and four. With three wide receivers. I don't know. They may run it here. What do you guys think? Yeah, that's a counter. We're there. Ishmael Anderson. Our boy. Number 99. Big 90, big number 99 making that stop. Alright, so we gotta get moving on offense here. Another short kick. I got guess another fair catch. So yeah guys, I am ahead on the dynasty. Uh, but I'm gonna get these videos out pretty quickly. I mean it's not gonna take me too long. I just gotta actually go in and uh I got to go in and upload in 4K. It's it's the longest process is getting it uploaded or getting it, uh, you know, hold on here. We got, oh, no, there's nowhere to go. It just takes a while. I, I use it. I use the uh, Apple lap. I, I have an Apple MacBook from 2016. Still works great, by the way. Uh, it's five years old, what, four and a half, five years old now. And it still works great. Um, I use Final Cut Pro for video. I don't do a whole lot of editing on this series, but I use that. Um, oh, look at this. My goodness. They sent the blitz and no one picked that guy up. I'm going call no, we're calling no huddle here. I think I'm just going to try to draw them off sides. I, 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 can, I don't snap this ball here, do I? <laughs> All right. Let's get to the second quarter. What I was saying is I use the app called Final Cut Pro for Apple. Yeah, basically, I can just, you know, again, like I don't stream because I, I sometimes I'll have to cut the videos and pause for who I mean, I've paused overnight before just because I ran out of time um, and like paused at halftime. But third and 11, we got this is a big play here. So basically, the longest process is just actually getting it uploaded and then ready to go on YouTube. Uh, this is a scramble with Townsend. Can we get there? No. We got hit sideways and knocked backwards. Okay. Uh, fourth and four. Yeah, I can't I can't go for this. It's inside the 50. There's, I mean, their defense has been playing solid. We There's no way we can go for this. I'm going to kick a low one here. Let's try something different. Oh, that was really stupid. Okay, I thought he would kick it far. Whoa, what are they doing? Wow. Bad time to do the reverse. They ran like... He ran like 20 yards just to do that reverse. <laughs> we got lucky there because that could have easily been another 10 yards of field position probably. All right, we're sticking in this man coverage. I'm playing back with Gilmore. Oh, look at the run. That's our defensive tackle there. Number 91. So, yeah, we got to make some plays on defense. They're controlling the ball right now. Uh, field position, not as much. We got them back at the 23, second and 10 now. This is uh, this is one of my least favorite formations. Well, no, no, no. They got a wing tight end. Okay. And they shift that guy out. Interesting. Well, it, I was about to say it worked, but there's our defensive tackle again with another play. Well, I, I'm sorry, guys. I keep forgetting our defensive tackle's name. I think it's Smith. But that might not be right. Don't quote me on that. 
I know 52 is Johnson, 99 is Ishmael Anderson. I can't remember number 91. I think it's Smith. Oh, Anderson, look at this. Oh, he's too tough. That's all 99 on that one, guys. His rating is not the best, but he just makes plays. He just makes plays. Big stop there. Three and out. Let's see if we can get our offense going. He gets it off. Or there's some space here. Let's get it. Oh my goodness! See, that's why I don't do punt returns. I get big hit, and there's a better chance of uh, better chance of a fumble than actually you know gaining some position field position. So okay, five two. They're coming out in that 5-2 defense. It's, if we can hold blocking, Washington, it's important for him to hold a block. Oh, look at that. See, the triple option actually works on that play. I probably could have kept that. That's okay. Um, when you run that triple option, sometimes those far edge, the far edge defensive linemen, they uh, they kind of turn up towards where you, you know hand it off to the fullback. So we got lucky on that one. It worked pretty well. Up the middle, there's a big hole there. That got destroyed again. Let's go no huddle. I might go up the middle one more time. Look at this hole, guys. Let's, uh, I think... No. A little space to the edge, but look at these big hits. They're, I mean, they're just destroying us. I mean, they have momentum, but they are absolutely destroying us with these big hits. All right, second and eight now. We are back in the pistol. Marcelo Washington in the backfield. They got their linebacker in the zone. We're going to flip this the opposite way. And it was a good thing we did, Marcelo. You got to earn that nickname, Marcelo. So we'll see what happens next year. We'll see if uh, McIntyre comes back. But, you know, regardless, in two years, when Marcelo Washington's a junior, he'll be the feature back, most likely. Oh, our center got flattened. Yeah, the, I mean, we run the ball so much. Like, I don't, I'm not surprised when they just send all out blitzes. I mean, it's. <laughs> Guys, um. Did you see Haston flashing? You know what play we're calling when he's flashing. I just had to get I had to get him in the right formation. Let's we'll see if this works. They're in man. So we gotta watch this guy trailing. Oh he got he got blocked though. This looks like a touchdown. Yep, there it is. Haston in the end zone. There we go. Momentum is even up. Is evened up. Look at Nick number 73, guys. Scroll back and watch that. He picked up the, the corner. Either that or the corner just read that one really poorly because he did not stay with uh, Haston on the on the edge. <laughs> that play works. It works a lot. And as soon as I talk about 73, he gets, he gets flattened on the field goal, uh, field goal protection. But that's okay. We got the lead now, 7-6. This is our last SEC game. It's hard to believe. I mean, we, uh, we kind of had a... Well, no, I guess we had the same schedule as last season, right? We were... No, no, we had a different... Oh, they dropped the kickoff. That's weird. I think last season we we started the season with two SEC games. I think that's right. And then I think, I think this season we started with two non-conference, then we have eight in a row SEC, and then finish off the year with two non-conference games. Uh, okay, there we go. Look at this guy making moves. We can't get him on the ground. I'll give that guy credit, man. He, he's a solid running back. His overall cannot be that good, but he's a solid running back. All right, we're playing man coverage again. The Panther come out in the shotgun. I'm cheating up with Gilmore here. Oh, yeah, I figured they would run that. 
Their guy in the zone. That's a guaranteed broken tackle almost. Almost always. I mean, this team's playing well, guys. Like, we're, we're not... Uh, this is not at all going to be an easy game. I mean, we're up 7-6, to six, but they've got the momentum a little back. And look at they're out gaining us. I mean, they came to play. Are lining up with three receivers. There's another handoff. Anderson with another tackle, though. Anderson's been all over the field right now. Usually, I mean, Thomas Robinson had four tackles in the first quarter, but... Well, it's different. So this is Edwards is out for the game. If you missed it, uh, he got hurt in the first quarter. So we're running with uh, Ryan Gilmore, which is Ryan Gilmore. I mean, he's a good player. He hasn't had a lot of playing time because he's basically just like our. I guess he's what, what would you call Ryan Gilmore? I mean, he's like our he's like our swing safety. He can play backup safety. Uh, backup free. He's he's listed as our backup free safety, but right now he's in it. You know, our second strong safety on the opposite side of the field. Uh, he's probably like he'd probably be like our third cornerback. Look how fast that guy is, man! Oh, he got that lateral out. Are you kidding? Wow, what happened? There's a flag. Is it holding? Oh, they got clipping. Okay. I didn't see that, but I mean, we'll take it. Because <laughs> that that option on third and seven was ridiculous. I I don't know how they got that lateral out. Like I, I overran it because he got that that lateral out so late. I completely overran it. We're gonna play DP here with Gilmore just so they don't pick this up. Well, they got a guy going deep now. Oh no, we're there. Oh, I went for the bat down. Y'all see that? I went for the bat down. When they throw the deep balls, like, you know, you're running straight on a line, that does usually work. The times where it doesn't work is when you're coming in on an angle. Like, if you're, if you're playing deep safety and you come in, like, on a sideline throw on an angle, sometimes you just get a horrible animation or, you know, like, sometimes your guy will he will legit go for a diving bat down behind the ball so then the receiver just high high points the football makes the catch and then walks in for a touchdown so that time it worked let's see if we can get the run game going look at the dirty uniforms and all this it's basically muddy out there i feel like all right we got some yards that time maybe five yards on the run i feel like this has been a quick game maybe not maybe just because i'm not you know i'm obviously i'm not recording live <laughs> Um, this is pre-record. I mean, this has already been recorded. I'm doing a voiceover because my audio file got corrupt in case you missed it. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself for those of you that watch the whole series, which I appreciate and give you guys a shout out, shout out again. Look at the pressure though. I mean, this team came to play. We're not picking up those easy yards that we normally do. It's also, it is also pretty late at night, so I may have to pause this at halftime, and I may have to pause at halftime and finish up the second half uh, tomorrow night. We'll see how we feel. Third and four. We need to pick this up, though. Oh, I could have kept it. Oh, it's okay. We got space. So watching that again, I could have, I probably, I mean, not kept it. I probably could have handed that off. I think McIntyre had enough space to pick it up. But we got the completion. Got the first down anyway on the 50-yard line. So we got plenty of time. It's under two minutes. Uh-oh, look at the, they're in man coverage. There's a lot of space to the, uh, to the right here. I was going to see how they shift. I like this. Oh, no, we couldn't break it. I guess I just should have went out farther wide. That was kind of weird. Like McIntyre, I don't know what happened, but he wasn't. He was like trailing to my left, which is kind of weird. Yeah. They're playing some solid defense. I will give them that. I mean, they're making us work for it. We, uh,. We got another third down here. Third and eight. 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 
So we got McIntyre out there in the slot on the right side, Washington in the backfield. Really have a lot of options here if Townsend can make a throw, but we're going to keep it. There's some space. That's first down. Good fall forward on, uh, by Marcelo there. All right, coming out with the no huddle here. There's a lot of guys on the right side. Oh, look at the pressure. Townsend's just going to run. Nope, I decided to throw it for some reason. I don't remember that. <laughs> I guess, I mean, that... I, it did look like that linebacker was catching up to me, and I could have easily gotten a big hit. So, it, all in all, that was actually a good play. Incomplete pass, stops the clock. The Panther, bring in the nickel package. Townsend, out. Oh, I feel like Townsend is tired. We got that pitch out so late, goodness. All right, timeout. I'm calling timeout. I hear the band come in. Hassan in the zone. I don't like, yeah, I mean, honestly, Townsend is so tired, the... I'm going to try this, guys. I, I think there's a chance this could work. I don't remember what I did here. But actually, this this is not a bad call if we can get Hassan in space. Oh, they have it covered. Goodness. Oh, well, he kind of got away at the end there. But there, I didn't have any space to, like, I, did, I didn't have any space to stop and throw it. Uh, there was no way I was going to get that off. All right, well, we can play for the field goal, I think. Oh, no, it's only second down. Never mind. I, for some reason, I thought it was third down. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We got one timeout left. I'm okay if we get a field goal here. I would be okay, but let's let's run it to the right, to the, to the boundary, see if we can get out of bounds. They're in man coverage over there. Mm, oh, that's a fumble. Goodness. Uh... We're going to take our final timeout. Um, what's the play here? Third and 10, 15 seconds. I honestly, with the wind in our face, I think we're out of field goal range. I honestly think we're out of field goal range with the wind in our face. So, so far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. It's going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to look at a lobbing. We're going to see if we get something deep here. I know I shouldn't throw it deep. Actually, oh, come on, get it, get it. Yes, what a catch, McIntyre. That's a Heisman catch right there. Let's go. Sometimes throwing it deep, I mean, I know it's not smart, but, you know, that was either going to be caught or picked, and I wasn't going to kick a field goal, so you got to take risks like that sometimes. I mean, I, I know it's risky, and Townsend doesn't throw the prettiest pass, but... I mean, that was a solid play. I, I mean, that wasn't just like a breakdown in coverage. That guy was right there. McIntyre just grabbed the ball. Huge play there. That was huge. It was looking like it could have easily been 7-6. to six, and Now we got an 8-point lead. As long as we don't do anything stupid here with 9 seconds. All right, no, no big return here. Let's get him on the ground. There we go. Nice. All right, seven seconds. They're four wide. Um, I don't think – I think they'll just hand it off here. So let's just let them hand it off to Dawson. Probably be a sweep to the right. Yep, there it is. Right up the middle. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. Please, someone tackle him. Come on, Jackson. There you go. Do we really need to do this every game, guys? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this guy. If only he was a little faster. I mean, that, I would have caught him with Reed, but Jackson comes up and makes the tackle. Goodness. On that note, guys, I'm going to take a break. I'm probably going to have to finish this recording up tomorrow morning, but you guys aren't going to – or tomorrow afternoon. You guys aren't going to see that, though. I'm going to run through the stats, and then I'll pick it back up and – you know, you won't see any delays here. But, guys, let's see if we can finish this game. We see if we can get to 10-0 and, and perfect 8-0 in conference.
Prairie View a and will, will be kicking off to start the second half. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Scott calls for the fair catch. Man, what is up with these short kicks? We just called fair catch again. I don't know what Guys, I am back. Um, if you missed it, we are basically doing a voiceover commentary because I have already recorded this game ahead of time. My audio file crapped out, and here we are. Close game. So we kick to start the game, so we get the ball here in the start of the third quarter. You can see we're going to – I thought about running left away from that – the impact defensive end, but we got five yards running to the right. Worked out okay. What did they just say? 1,500 yards on the season? That's pretty impressive considering we still got, you know, we still have two and a half more games in the regular season. There's a chance he could get close to 2,000. So we're going to try a play action here. We may scramble with Townsend. We'll see what they're blitzing. Look at that blitz come in. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Yeah, that was a bad read. I definitely did not see that guy because even watching that one. And so they drop back in zone and uh, yeah, I mean that wasn't it wasn't a bad throw. It just they their zone defense made it an easy bat down. So third and five now. Let's see if we can run and pick this up. Our standard triple option play. Uh, there's space. Townsend all the way. Yep. Look at that. They were in man coverage, and in, that was a perfect alignment. Man coverage and in 5-2. And look at that. They had a big hit on the on the fullback Jackson, but we took it out to the outside. They didn't have anybody to stop us there. All right, McIntyre is flashing in the zone. We're going to go with a handoff right up the middle here. We may try to bounce this between the, between the guard and the tackle. It looks like there's a hole there. Oh, a false start. Really? Come on, man. That was a great alignment for that run. All right, well, let's see. First and 15, we're fine. Let's try it again. They're in man coverage. Uh, we could maybe bounce this outside. We'll see what the blocking looks like from the tight end. Yep, oh, they picked it up. This might be a touchdown. That's, my, that's a touchdown all the way. Oh, we got tackled, but that's all right. 53-yard touchdown run. Add him to the season num season totals for McIntyre. Yeah, look at that tight end. I think that was uh, – I'm, I'm not great with names on our tight ends because we don't use them at all. They're basically like offensive linemen since we don't throw the ball at, at much at all. Who was that? Scott? Number eight. That was number 85, Scott. I think that was how I, I think he's our best tight end. I'm not sure, though. I think he's our top tight end. And he hits the PAT. And now we're gonna take All right, so I actually feel a little more comfortable now. 21-6. to six. They, They're they battling with us here in this, uh, especially in that first half. I mean, it was – they took an early lead. We got the win in their back now, so – we got it inside the 10 at least. <laughs> Still kind of short on all these kickoffs. All right. So, guys, yeah, it's the next day. I It was pretty late last night when I started recording the voiceover commentary. Uh, Edwards is still is hurt for the game. So, we're going to have to roll with Gilmore. I don't know what that was. That was a – I think that was a busted play because that didn't look right. I don't know if that was – I don't think that was his – I mean, maybe it was his own read, but that kind of looked weird. Whatever it was, it didn't work. So we're going with – we're playing pretty aggressive on defense. We're doing man coverage. Uh, they're going to run, but we're there. Ishmael Anderson making that tackle. He's had a good game. Look at this guy, Dawson. He's got 94 yards rushing already. Goodness. For some reason, like, these running backs that aren't even that great, you know, they're, they're not even the best running backs, and we struggle to stop them. I, I don't know why. So, little uh, little mind games here, calling all out blitz. We're going to audible into cover three. They don't change at all, and they're running. Oh, but we – ah. We caused that fumble there. I don't know I don't know if that goes down as a forced fumble there. We got in the way of the uh, – the option. See, it's 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 hard running the triple option, guys. It's not easy. 
it's not just a zone read all day. Like, I mean, you run the zone read, you don't really have much risk of a fumble um, aside from a normal, you know, a normal strip. But that was a good play there. I'm surprised they ran that. We came out with the all-out blitz, and they stuck with the uh, the speed option left. Okay, we can really get some separation here if we uh, – if we get in the end zone here, it looks like they're they're coming out in this three three five Cougar free safety coming down. Looks like he's manned up. Oh, and we went off sides. Yeah, it looks like they were in man there. You saw the free safety come down. He it looked like he was assigned to Marcelo Washington on the left. Let's see what they do here. Okay, now they're in the three three five split. No, they're in three four. That's weird. We'll just go up the middle. There's some space there. So I'm really like, since I'm since I'm not you know playing right now, <laughs> I'm doing the voiceover. I'm trying to I'm trying to look like more at the actual defense and see if I can see some things that I don't really I'm not really paying attention to while I'm actually calling the game. Like here, they're really mixing up their defense. They're in five two man coverage. They fan the linebackers out, so this looks good up the middle. But I did call. Wait, what did I call here? Okay, I don't, I don't even know what I called, but that works. <laughs> I, I, did I call a triple wide receiver option or triple option? I'm not even sure. I, I seriously don't know what I called. Um, but it doesn't matter. First and 10 on the 37. I think this is a fullback blast here. I on it, Guys, it's been a while since I played this game. I'm getting ahead on the recording. So, yeah, this is Washington up the middle, maybe. I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Oh, not well, because our our right guard's having a rough quarter here. Got the false start and then pushed backwards that time. But, yeah, we got to get Marcelo Washington, man. He's going to be such an important player. I've said this before, but he wasn't a five-star recruit. He was a four-star, but he was a pretty highly rated four-star at 78 overall coming in uh, as a true freshman. So that's that's pretty solid. And look at this space up the middle. We got big hit for the first down. Good job holding on to the ball, though. That can easily be a fumble. I mean, the fumbles in this game are a little OP. I mean, not really the fumbles, but like the big hits. And but it's okay. You know what? I'm 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 cool with it. It keeps it interesting. Honestly, I like the unpredictability of the turnovers because I would rather have that than just a boring. It makes it too boring. Like I mean. If you have a stacked team, you can just run the ball all day if you know what you're doing, and that's not really interesting. But This play, I'm really not sure if this is going to work. But we're going to keep it with Townsend, and it does work. Can we get in? Ah, oh, I couldn't break a tackle. That was a little risky because I wasn't sure what they were going to do on the left edge there. But we – that was the zone read. We kept it with, Town, uh, with Townsend and – we're going to try. We're going into spread. Well, I say spread. When I say spread, I basically just mean shotgun. Because uh, this formation is not really spread. It's just, you know, you got twin running backs and a tight end on the right. McIntyre in the zone. So in this formation, we just audibled into the flex bone. And a handoff to McIntyre. Nowhere to go. Goodness. Wow, they had a uh, that was good defense there. I think we lost a yard. So I do like so the shotgun split twins. The reason why that's I really love that formation because I can call that I can call a pass play or a run play, but I can easily audible into the flex bone split twins, which is like the exact same formation just under center and you have a wing running back. And a fullback. But here, second and goal on the 10. Can we get in, Marcelo? Break a tackle. Oh, no, it didn't have the edge. That's a good effort. Six yards. Makes it makes the whole playbook open here on third and third and four. If it was third and 10 still with goal to go, I'd be a little more concerned. But, <coughs> uh, excuse me. All right. Um... What is this defense? Are they in nickel? I guess. It's a weird alignment. I probably yeah, yeah we'll just get in. Yeah, we'll just get in. 
Fortunately, they were in zone, I think. Or they just weren't, they had no awareness, I, guess. I don't know, I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, they were definitely in zone, nobody was there. Nobody was rushing McIntyre, nobody was rushing free to Townsend, so we just ran it in. All right, 27-6, about to make it 28-6, stretch the lead out, three scores. Feeling pretty good now. <laughs> I would have lost my mind if we made it this far and lost to the Prairie View A&M, the worst original roster in the, in the game. No offense. No offense at all. But also, apparently, they're out of Texas. I, I, for some reason, when I set this dynasty up, I thought they were... I thought Prairie View a &M was from Mississippi. Uh, I got I got them, and there, there is one team, I think Jackson State. I think Jackson State is Mississippi, and I was going to... I should have put them in here, but... You know what? It doesn't matter. We're expanding into the Texas market. We need a Texas team in the SEC. So, they've been... Yeah, they're sticking to the run, but we're there. That's uh, Robinson making that one. We have full momentum now, so let's see if that impacts our defense and maybe we can get some some big hits. I'm still calling this aggressive defense, and I I, I do a little user uh, adjustments. with I, I spy the middle linebacker, and I'm just going to play deep with Gilmore. There's a play action pass, and that's okay. Good stop. The man, uh, man coverage there helped on that one. Look at that guy. Three, three touchdowns, 15 picks. My goodness. That is that is terrible. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I mean, he's really fast. He's got like 82 speed or something, so I guess he gets a lot of rushing touchdowns. But I mean, he's only thrown eight passes so far. I wonder. I don't think we'll have to play them next year. I don't know how the scheduling works. That's a draw. That's not going to work. Atkins with good awareness there. Yeah, we're stepping up on defense now. We're, we're not letting them get another touchdown. At least in the third quarter. We'll see. So guys, we can uh, we can pretty much start running clock. I'm getting Marcelo Washington out of here. I don't. I need to. I keep forgetting he's on punt coverage. I need to adjust that. I mean, I know he's our backup running back, but you know, if you, if you're passing the ball 40 times a game in shotgun and you know four wide receivers, you don't. I mean, that's fine. But I mean, half of our formations have two running backs, or over half, well over half of them. So. Actually, now that I think about it, there's like maybe four that don't. Just the pistol and the shotgun spread. They're running. Look at all. The, they're running a lot of five-two, which I don't blame them. I mean, it kind of stacks the box pretty evenly. But fortunately, I mean, I feel like five-two is kind of easy to block because the linebackers are so unpredictable. Because obviously they can blitz. They can drop back in coverage they can spy but in 5-2 you pretty much have five linemen rushing and now they're bringing the safeties down so we may try to cut up the middle here we'll see what this looks like yeah there we go right up the middle good run McIntyre 100 yards that's what this player's done so far today. So yeah, we, we're going to take this to the fourth quarter, guys. I think we can pretty much run run some clock. Hopefully nothing hopefully nothing crazy happens, no injuries. If you guys remember last season, I didn't even put the games on YouTube. We lost Townsend in the Western Carolina. I think we lost I think we lost Townsend and McIntyre in the same game. So the last two games of the season, we were relying on a wide receiver at quarterback plus our 56 overall running back, Jackson, who was solid. But, yeah, it was bad last season. I mean, look, we, we did not get runs like that, just a broken tackle and still picks up six yards. So we've got two more games left after this one, so hopefully we can finish out the year strong. But we'll see what happens, you know. <laughs> Actually, guys, I already know what happens, so I'm not going to give you any spoilers. I've, I've finished out the regular season. Uh, I'm going to upload these 
hopefully pretty soon. Um, right now we've got the... I don't even remember. I have to look at what I have uploaded. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Somebody, somebody fell down. That was a corner blitz. I don't know what happened there. I think Jackson was supposed to block, and I, I think he was the guy on the ground. I mean, that's come on. Like you, you gotta pick up a corner blitz. Like, it's third and nine. Uh, this this has potential. They're in nickel, but they're in man because you got that guy. Unless they just flipped it. <clears throat> no, they're definitely in man. Excuse me. Mm. Yeah, that didn't work. I thought maybe that guy would be picked up on a block, but yeah, that that did not work. <coughs> oh gosh, sorry guys. My voice is dry today. Don't know why. <coughs> okay, we're fine. We're gonna run clock. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping my phone. Things are happening. Lord. Okay. He gets it away. Wow, what a big hit, <laughs> Robinson. Now we're getting the big hits. I gotta adjust our punt coverage next year. I mean, we should have more depth, and we don't need like our best players on punt coverage on special teams. It's not really. Uh, now they're doing play action. I don't know where. Oh, I did not. I mean, that's one of the hard things about playing defensive back. Like he, I never saw that wheel route. I mean, I figured he was running a wheel route, but he could have easily done like a weird, a weird uh, curl. You know, out on just you know five yards to the sideline. We were there. I just he didn't really get an animation to jump up. That's okay. Now I don't know what this is. Uh, we're there on that one though. That was a wide receiver option, but their quarterback was just too fast. <laughs> he outran his pitch man. From their own 46 yard line. So it's second and ten. Yeah, so next, I'm not, I'm not sure how the schedule works the in the SEC in this game. Um, Robinson. That's Robinson again. So that's eight tackles for Robinson. Look at that. So in the SEC in 2006, from when this game was released, you've got 12 teams. So there's no 14 teams in here. And six in the east, six in the west. So basically, you play you play your five East opponents, or you play your five division opponents every year, and then you have three games against the other conference. But I'm not I'm not sure how it works. Also, I don't know what we're doing on defense. I'm trying to man up. There we go. They might be going deep. Yep, they're going. Oh, I think they got that. Yeah, oh, that guy's too fast. Goodness. That was a good pass. I mean, that was perfect. Like, that guy's just too fast. I think Gilmore is only, like, 82 speed or something. I don't know what happened to Travis Payne. He just got way behind. They're going to go for two, so, I mean, it's still a two-score game, even if they don't get this, but... And they're looking to get two points here. I mean, let's keep the pressure on them and make a stop here. I may keep the. I think. Uh, yeah, I kept the all out blitz. Look at that. <laughs> I I figured that I didn't think they were throwing that. That was a little risky because we we literally dropped three in coverage and blitzed everyone else. Okay, they're kicking. They're kicking it. Wow. Okay. I, apparently, I don't have an audible, so <laughs> fair catch it. Yeah, that sounds good. It's fair catch the kickoff. I don't know what the hell. I thought I could audible. I guess not. All right. Five minutes, 17 seconds. We should be able to run the clock out. I mean, I just pick up some first down. Well, not this drive. I mean, I don't think we'll take up that much time. But All right, nickel defense again. Looks like man coverage, or they flipped it to the opposite side. Uh, it doesn't matter. He didn't hit in the backfield. Where did that guy come from? Uh, just right up the middle. Huh. I mean, I, I'll give them credit. They've they've played pretty solid. Like, and look, we as soon as we call a pass, they match up. Of course, this is PA Reed. Like, we call a pass, but they're matching up in uh, 
dime coverage here. I don't know what they're doing though. I feel like that corner might be blitzing. Yeah, look, that corner was blitzing, so I'm running left. And we fumble. Goodness. I think he was down, but I don't want to waste the challenge. Alright, well, I was going to try to run clock on this drive, but I don't want to throw a pick or do anything stupid, so let's let's be smart here. You gotta be smart. Third and eleven. Clock is running. Um, I'm really not sure. Oh, they're in man. Maybe just man up. Oh, let's reverse. <laughs> just throw it. <laughs> Good lord. What a ridiculous play. As soon as I said I don't want anything, I, I said I didn't want to do something stupid, and of course I did that. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. I should have just, I, I really, I, I mean, it worked out. You know what? Let's just pretend, let's just pretend none of that actually happened, and we just threw a simple little seven-yard slant or something, you know? <laughs> Guys, I honestly don't know what I did there. I don't know if I, again, I recorded this. I I recorded this game quite a while ago, so I don't remember, like, honestly, any of these plays, hardly at all. <laughs> that was a good tackle there, Casey Jackson. Okay. But, yeah, I, apparently I threw it across across field, but Haston was pretty open, so it worked out. All right, so there's still time, and we just – oh, that's a pass, but look at that. Ishmael Anderson making another play. I'll tell you what, guys, and again, Dylan, your boy Ishmael Anderson is, uh, he's stepping out late in the season here. He, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I mean, like I, I'll say this again, like 3-3-5 defense, your, your defensive linemen aren't going to have the greatest stats because, you know, for one, there's only three. Oh, incomplete. Wow. Okay. So when you run 3-3-5, obviously, you know, three, 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 it's 3-3-5, three, three, so you only got three defensive linemen, so... Unless you, I mean, you're blitzing a linebacker on most plays. Like this one, I'm running a spy, but so we've only got three rushers, so the chances of them actually getting the quarterback are pretty unlikely. But yeah, 99, he's making plays. I just, well, I say that and he got hit on his back, but we got a pick, though. Can't make every play. Corey Cole's going to make some. There we go. I really don't know how he got that. I just beat him to the ball. Yeah. All right. I think it's time to let's just take out Townsend and uh, yeah. Um. Where's our running back? Our uh, 34. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna take out our top players. I'm not gonna worry about um, mass subs. That 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 looks good. That looks really good. Okay. There's only three minutes left. I just don't want McIntyre to get hurt. I mean, there's really no point in running him. I could go for records if I wanted to, but I also want to finish out the season well and have him healthy for the bowl game and the conference championship. Oh, I could have bounced that out, but pretty good game there. One thing I forgot is uh, Jackson is still – I think he's a junior as well, so – um, we're not even losing that much on offense this year either. We're losing Haston or wide receiver. And then I can't remember who else. Fox is a junior. He'll be back. Maybe our center or somebody. I don't know. I think we're probably losing, like, at least two offensive linemen. But we should have a good recruiting class again, so we'll be able to get some new guys in there. Third and four. I'd like to pick this up just to keep the clock running. Four yards to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. Five of ten on third down. Let's see if we can get it to uh, our boy Marcelo here. They're in man coverage. So they're going to come down pretty quick here. Mm, yep. We didn't block that guy. Great play. Taking him down behind. What would you guys do here? I mean, the game is the game's not over. Oh, and now they're calling timeout. Okay, the game's not over. But I also don't want to do anything stupid, so let's just take the 
20 plus yards of field position as long as we don't kick this in the end zone. Thomas awaits the snap. The wind is in our face too, so this should be okay. Thomas hunts it and oh, please sit down. That's fine. Game. We're there. We're there. And Did it. Yes. Alright, that was good. I right, just I make him drive 95 yards. Don't I didn't want to like do anything stupid, turn it over, give them a shorter field. So I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. He drops back, throws it to the You know, their their quarterback's not the most accurate guy. He's already thrown what? And he's got 16 picks now in the season and only three touchdowns. Cause no, no, he did throw a touchdown. I don't know if that was before or after that stat popped up. So he's fast, but he's not the most accurate guy. So. Just to call the plays, and right now they're not having oh, there he, now he's just running. Mm, look at this guy. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. What is happening? I mean, this guy's gonna be a problem in four years. Like, you know, he develops throwing the ball a little better. Like, you, you can't coach plays like that. I mean, it's just scramble and pick up 30 yards. Right, that was a good throw, but look at the hit there. Just put him on the ground, caused the drop. All right, let's 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 try not to make it interesting, though. Don't give up any big touchdowns here. Just play solid defense. We'll be fine. They're running, I mean, like, this this formation again. Like, I, it's, it's the two tight end set. I don't really know how to guard it because... I mean, they can really do anything. Like, that was a good play there. Like, the zone defense works pretty well on that formation. But, no, it's like, I'm, I really don't know. They can run any route. And here they are again. There's a lot of interesting routes in this formation. Like, they can, their tight ends can both streak up the middle, which can be a problem. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sit down, man. Oh, my God. That sound. That sound of that hit. Goodness. Might want to head to the locker room after that one. <laughs> Fourth and ten. Here we go. We put this game away. Pick it off. Right in the hands, or right in the breadbasket, that's what it's called. That was a dangerous right in the hands, what am I saying? That's freshman quarterback trying to make a play, which, I mean, it's fourth and ten, what else are you going to do? It's too far, it's too deep. That's the easiest pick of the season. All right, let's let's uh, let's just pick up, I don't know, they may call a timeout again, so let's just run it. Uh, we're undefeated in conference, so it's a good feeling. That is a good feeling. We have officially claimed the SEC championship. Well, no. I forget there is, we got to play the conference championship, but we have won the SEC East. And it's, you know, actually, I don't, who are we going to play, guys? Like, I, Furman and Elon. I think it's looking like Elon. I think Elon is going to be the matchup, but I'm not sure, guys. We'll check it out. Spoiler alert, I know who the matchup is. I'm just not going to tell you guys. <laughs> I mean, we're in week 10. Or no, we were in week 11, so there's still three more weeks of the season left. But you guys will find out. But 8-0 in SEC, so that guarantees us a spot in the conference championship. I don't know why they're calling timeout so late. Let's just pick up this first down, and we'll be able to take a knee and end the game here. They're probably blitzing everyone. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, well, they don't have any timeouts. So. Yeah, so we have to punt one more time. I tell you what, guys, not to look ahead. Not to look ahead, but we're only in season two. I'm really excited for the next few years. Like... I mean, each year we play, we're going to just keep getting more depth and we're going to get better talent. And it's going to be fun. I mean, and the other thing is, like, all these other teams are just going to be better too. So it's not like we're just rising above everyone. Like, there's, the competition is going to be much greater. And he 
All right, 24 seconds. That's just no touchdowns here. I mean, the game's over. Keep everything in front of you. It's all we want to do. Yeah, maybe we can get another pick. Mm, oh, there it is. <laughs> what a sliding pick by Nicholas there. He hasn't had a pick in a while. I feel like that's his first one since the start of the season. So, Who was that that got the hit? Oh, look at it. Why? Who else? Number 99. Who else? All right. We're in the red zone. I don't care. I'm just going to take a knee. I'm not going to be. 20 seconds left. They don't have any timeouts. So we're going to end the game right here. 8-0 in the SEC. In the newly, the new SEC. Prairie View A&M, Appalachian State, Western Carolina, Georgia Southern, Wofford, all these teams. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Kirk, what do you think of this one? Well, it's obvious that the talent level of these two teams wasn't even close. Prairie View A&M did a nice job of hanging in there. Against All right, good win today. Team, but in the end, they just didn't have enough to get it done. They played well, though. Nice job, man. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2007. But until then, our final score in this one. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap this one up, I think. I'm going to let you guys watch out the rest of the video. There's only about... I think I got like five or six minutes left. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this. If you have any, feel free, comments, questions, anything, I'll reply. But we're going to check out the scores. We're going to check out the end of the game, stats. And we'll see who we're playing next week and get into it, guys. He's out.